morning. Today we're going to talk about the best of Zillow mindset. Yes, this is where you need to be. You want to grow. You want to be the best version of yourself. You need to have the best of Zillow mindset. What does that mean? So let's talk about the actual customer experience excellence. So I mentioned this last week, basically based on the feedback that they, Zillow has gathered from thousands of home buyers, these are the traits that they value most in, a, in an agent. If you focus your energy on these things, you will get better results. Responsiveness, inspiring confidence by following up and getting back to the clients quickly. Communication style, listening closely and mirroring a client's communication preferences. Knowledge, sharing deep expertise of your local market and the home buying process. The home buying process is where you need to shine. Even if you don't know a particular market, the process is where your expertise comes in. Client priority, making each client feel that they are always your top priority. Trust, empathizing with clients and acting with integrity. Client needs, asking about and prioritizing a client's home buying needs. And lastly, negotiation, expertly representing the best interests of the client so that they can make an informed decision. So what is the best of Zillow mindset? Well, Zillow Premier agents are known for their thirst for knowledge and quest for continual self-improvement. I'm going to say that again. Thirst for knowledge and continual self-improvement. They are open-minded, open-minded, up for a challenge. Understand the long-term benefits of striving for customer experience excellence. Look at this beautiful stat. Agents who earn an experience score of 90 or higher transact 40% more often. So you could potentially do double of the business that you are currently doing. 40% more often. Let that sink in. So understanding your current mindset. So uh, we are going to, I'm going to put a survey on the board. So just, how do I get out of this? Oh, there we go. Um, so I want you guys all just to get a quick pen and paper. Um, we're going to do a quick survey and you're going to, keep, you know, keep score. Um, and the number is your score and write it down real quick. And then you're going to tally up your numbers at the end. Okay. So get a quick piece of pen and paper, you know, pen and paper, use your phone, whatever you got to do. All right, so let's go. This is the best of Zillow mindset survey. So number one, I can always challenge my talent a good amount, no matter how much I already have. So if you completely agree, it's one point. If you disagree, two points. Kind of agree, three points. Uh, sorry, kind of disagree, three points. Kind of agree, four points. Agree, five points. Completely agree, six points. And that's going to be the same for every question, okay? So completely disagree is all the way at number one. Completely agree is all the way at number six. I like work best when it makes me think hard. Again, number one is completely agree. And then it goes up the line all the way to number six, which is completely agree. So number one, completely disagree. Number six, completely agree. Number three. I like doing things that I learn from, even if it means making mistakes sometimes. Number one, completely disagree, all the way up to number six, completely agree. Number four, when something is hard, it makes me want to spend more time on it, not less. Completely agree, disagree is number one, completely agree is number six. And now be completely honest. I'm not going to ask you to share your results. You don't have to tell anyone. Be honest with yourself. That is the way that you are really going to know the truth. Number five, I can always improve my learning 
even if I'm well versed on the topic already. Number six, I like work best when I can do well, even if I have to put extra time and effort. Number seven, I like doing work that challenges me, even if it's not perfect the first time. And number eight, when I have to put in extra work, I'm okay with it because I feel the end product will benefit. So I'm just gonna give you a few more seconds, just if you needed to catch up, you can look at it real quick. Make sure you tally up your scores. I'm not gonna do it just yet. We're gonna get into it, all right? Check out the, the questions, tally up your scores. All right, so I'm going back into it. All right, so we just took the survey. Now let's understand your current mindset. So your mind ha mindset has a direct relationship to your growth. You either have a fixed mindset or you have a growth mindset. What is that? Well, a fixed mindset means that you feel your qualities are unchangeable, right? This is who I am, never gonna change. Eh, that's as big as I'm getting. That's, that's as much as I'm gonna grow. This is who I am, I'll always be the same. Or a growth mindset is where you believe that you can change or improve your qualities over time. This is an open-minded person. You have a growth mindset. I can improve. It's not always black and white when it comes to mindset, but those with a growth mindset tend to flourish and grow. If you're a fixed mindset, you're just, that's it. This is who you are. This is who you're going to be. You're never going to get to the top. Right. If you're if you're kind of in the middle somewhere, then you're always going to stay there. But if you have a growth mindset, you have the tendency to flourish and grow. At Remax Edge, we align ourselves with growth-minded agents who look to learn together, so that we can position ourselves to be successful together in this ever-changing marketplace. So let's look at your survey score. Right. I hope you tallied up those scores. Let's see what they mean. So if you got in between an eight and a sixteen. You believe your real estate skills are set traits and cannot be changed. Between a 17 and 24, you think that your skills and traits probably can't change much. Number for 25 to 32, you are not sure if you can change your skills and traits. You're not sure. Number 33 to 40, you believe that you can develop your skills and intelligence with some effort. And 41 to 48, you completely believe you can grow and improve and you are up for the challenge. Now think about your score. Did your results surprise you? Did they discourage you? Are you somewhere in the middle? No matter what you scored, even if you got the worst score and you're like, oh my God, I have a fixed mindset. I stink, right? Even if you're there, no matter what you scored, you still have the ability to change. Remember that no matter what, you still have the ability to change. 